Patriots, how's it going? It's another week, another ride home review, and man, these uh, Oscar and Golden Globe nominees that have come out within the last uh, few weeks are just some heavy hitters, uh, I tell ya. Um, this week, I watched The Post, which uh, is directed by Steven Spielberg. I don't think you need me to uh, uh, talk about his resume. Everybody knows his resume. Um, but it stars Meryl Streep, and Tom Hanks, uh, Bob Odenkirk, uh, Bruce Greenwood, um, and Bradley Whitford. Uh, man, it's just a great cast. So just, just a large cast, some faces that you'll you'll recognize, and so on and so forth. Uh, so, also, don't forget to subscribe to Ride Home Reviews on YouTube. Don't forget to like us on Facebook. Uh, I'm thinking of doing some interesting stuff on Facebook, so pay attention to that. And also, uh, we're on Instagram, so check us out there. Uh, so anyway. Going into the movie, the, the premise of the, the, or the synopsis of the film revolves around the Washington Post, which is therefore is the Post, and the release of these top secret Pentagon papers that um, they struggle to publish because uh, the government is throwing this espionage act at them and uh, threatening uh, the freedom of the press, if, if you will. And so it's... And this is, happens in the early 70s, and it's the Washington Post fight back against that. Uh, what I really liked about um, this film, first of all, I really enjoyed the camera work. The camera work and the selection on how to do the camera work and, and the way it was it had a retro feel, but at the same time brought you into the action um, uh, with movement. Um, I really enjoyed that movement, that that choice I wouldn't say that the cinematography was outstanding that you know but the camera work uh, was just was really really good and the editing the editing and some of the parts of both sound and visual um, and it really sped up the pacing slowed down the pacing it really uh, really gave you uh, a good feel of how how crucial and how tense this this story was and and um, and so on and so forth with that it was really well done and then the cast the cast was spectacular if anybody saw the movie spotlight it had a it had a similar feel um, you know they, they did a good job in in in, in the performances uh, there was no drop off in talent um, and everybody was able to accentuate the other as for what I didn't like, there really wasn't much. I mean, I wouldn't say the story was super strong. I mean, um, it was uh, very timely. Let me put it that way. It was a very timely story about a, a paper that's been in the press today. But um, And so I think that that was the big push uh, for uh, this strong film. Um, and so, and the other thing that I didn't like, it's really nitpicky, but I wasn't a big fan of uh, the Nixon reenactments. I just thought it was a little, I don't know, I just, just felt a little out of place within everything else. I did, however, like the use of the, the recordings that they did. Um, uh, and so, there you have it. What to watch for. Just the on-screen presence and the chemistry between Tom Hanks and Meryl Streep. Absolutely fabulous. Those two are two heavy hitters in the film, and it was awesome to see them uh, interact and act like old friends in which the characters were. And, it, you know, even in scenes by themselves, but together, you know, especially the very first scene when the breakfast scene where they set the tone between their characters. Really strong really strong so there you have it the post it's a very good movie you probably don't need to go to the movie theater to see it you can probably wait for dvd or anything like that um but i mean i wouldn't say it's the best spielberg movie but it's definitely not the worst it's really it's actually it's really good and, and like i said the storyline is very timely very timely for today um so there you go there you have it so once again like i said subscribe to us on youtube Follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and until next week, watch something cool. See you next time.